Hi friends, if you are sick of buying gallons and jugs of distilled water or purified water, I have the solution for you so you no longer have to do that ever again. Now the point of this video is just to show you an alternative to buying water in jugs. I'm not going to go in depth in terms of which plants to use it for. However, I do like to use this filtration system for my pinguiculos because they do not like tap water and they need a purer water. So I've been using this water actually for about a year and a half with my pingu pinguiculas. Any carnivorous plant actually would benefit from this as well as some other plants. But let's get to the video. Make sure you stick around until the end because I'm going to dispel one of the most common tap water myths that there is out there and I want everybody to know the truth. So I'm using a zero water filter here. There are many models. This particular one is a 23 cup model. They come in all sorts of different sizes and I like this one. I actually use this one in my greenhouse. This one just has a spigot here and you simply press this to dispense the water. Now I've been using this one for a year and a half. So at this point, I'm going to show you how it works and I actually need to change the filter out. So for this model, it just twists right off and I'm going to insert the new filter. Now, in order for this filter to perform as advertised, check out the link to my blog post in the description of this video and I'll give a little bit more detail on that. You need to replace the filter when the total dissolved solids read above six. This is a TDS or total dissolved solids meter and you can easily check the quality of your water. So I'll show you how that works shortly. So here is the new filter. It installs very easily. So this one, you just twist off the cap here and then you simply screw it on here nice and tight and there's actually an o-ring here you want to make sure that that's not caught anywhere and it's nice and flush so give it give it a nice tight squeeze there and then i'm going to place this back inside of the water filter and place the lid on and this is nice because once the lid is on you can simply open it. I'm going to add water in here until it reaches the top and then I'll turn the water off. Now it is a little bit slow to filter the water because of the five stage filtration in this system, but it's totally worth it. I've included a link in the description of this video if you want to purchase your own and keep in mind that there are many different sizes and options and configurations for this filter. Let's take a before measurement of our water and the zero water filter comes with this TDS meter. This TDS or total dissolved solids meter measures the organic and inorganic materials, some of which are good and some of which are not so good, that are found in water. It'll also reduce the fluoride by 99% and is also effective at reducing chloramines. Our rating is 140 parts per million of dissolved solids. Okay, so now let's see how it reduced the total dissolved solids. So I'm just going to take a little sample of our water and use our TDS meter. So it went from 140 on the meter to zero. Now I only use this for certain plants and I don't have a large quantity of water that I need. So this works perfectly for me. If you're looking for a solution for all of your plants and you have hundreds of plants or a large amount of plants, this is not going to cut it for you. You may as well invest in a reverse osmosis water system for more efficiency. But for me, it works well. I actually use tap water for the majority of my plants and they do just fine. I simply use this water for the pickier plants like my pinguiculas and any carnivorous plants that really require a much more purified water. Of course, keeping in mind that tap water quality can vary drastically depending on where you live. So for me, it works perfectly fine. You will just have to make that decision on your own based off of how your plants look and how healthy they are. Now, I would like to talk about a myth that I keep hearing over and over again, and it is simply not true. A lot of people leave their water overnight, pouring off a whole gallon of water into a jug or another container and let it sit overnight because all the chemicals will magically evaporate into the air. That is simply not true. Now, there are many chlorine compounds, and while it is true that some chlorine will actually degas out of the water once it sits, 
and I'm a chemical engineer by, by education, so I understand how this works. In many municipalities, such as my own, they also add a compound called chloramine, which is a chlorine compound. However, it does not evaporate. Now, if you use this filter, it will remove the vast majority of it. This filter will also remove the vast majority of fluoride that is found in tap water as well. Now, there have been many studies that show that certain plants are extremely sensitive to fluoride. One that is notorious for that is, I should say, are peace lilies as well as spider plants. Those are just two, two of the examples. Now, keep in mind, if you do plan on using this for a large variety of plants, water that is this pure actually is not good long term for many plants if you don't fertilize. So I encourage you to regularly fertilize. If you are using this type of water or if you are using distilled water or reverse osmosis water. Now, granted, this water is not quite as pure as distilled water, but it is more on a similar playing field to a reverse osmosis water system. Now, you're going to have to use some sort of fertilizer because this is devoid of a lot of the minerals that are found in tap water, such as calcium, magnesium, and, and some others. So make sure that you fertilize, otherwise you may end up seeing some nutrient deficiencies over time. My fertilizer of choice for all my plants, and I bought a gallon container of this, is DynaGrow Grow. They do make a large variety of products as well. It is truly a complete fertilizer, it contains all the macro and micronutrients that your plants need to, to grow. So I highly recommend this one as well. I'll also leave a link in the description of this video. I've been using this fertilizer for years with wonderful results. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you found this content valuable, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.